Hey, how's it going? Today I would like to talk about the RDF library. Now, for those who don't know, the RDF library is a pure Python package for working with RDF. Now, the library contains most things that you will need, including the parsers and serializers uh, for majority of the supported formats like XML, L3, Turtle, and JSON-LD. It also contains a graph interface, which can be used for adding and removing basically um, a triple manipulation and it also uh, contains uh, the Sparkle 1.1 implementation which supports a, a Sparkle 1.1 queries. Now um, first things first we want to install the library so we can do it with pip. Now for those who are using the terminal you want to install the pip without the exclamation mark or you can use a conda or Anaconda, and for those who are using a, um, a Jupyter Notebook or Google Collab like I'm doing or um, IPython, you can use the exclamation mark to install the, the library. Now, as we can see, I have already installed the package and that's why it says requirement already satisfied. Now, next thing to make sure that we have installed the uh, package, we can use the pip show which is going to tell us uh, more details about the libraries, like its version, the author, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Now, first thing first, we want to import the library and uh, we want to initialize the graph and we can do it like so. And then the next thing um, we can do is parse the the RDF graph from some external source. So I'm going to parse the uh, Michael Jackson entity from DBpedia. Let's look, take a look at the graph itself. So this is how the Michael Jackson entity looks like in DBpedia. Uh, it's basically a set of uh, property and values and yeah, it's pretty extensive. Okay, so let's go back. So let's run this. Um, there are many different ways how you can parse the graph. You can uh, parse the local graph from the file, from the string, or from some external graph uh, that you can access uh, in the browser. Now, next thing that we can do is uh, let's iterate over the each triple in the graph. Now, I set up uh, I enumerated over the graph just to just so I can break at the index 10 because I don't want to print out all the thousands of uh, triples. Now you can do it like so and also the triple is uh, containing the subject predicate object. So basically if I want to print out only the subject I can do something like this. Now, the next thing that we can check out is the length of or the size of the graph. We can just run the uh, length method and this is going to return us the number of triples or the facts inside the graph. And then lastly, we can also serialize the graph and specify the format that we want to use. And if I run this, this is going to return me a huge um, uh, string yeah so this is the uh, complete uh, version or of the uh, Michael Jackson graph from the Wikipedia and then we can uh, pass it to a variable and then we can save it to a file for example okay so let's look at some more example a more extensive example now again we are going to create a graph and uh, in this case, we are going to create a node and uh, we want to identify this node by the RDF URI. So we are going to give it some, uh, some URI. And in this case, I'm going to define node called Mason, which is going to be a uh, uh, type person. And it's going to have a nickname called Mason with the language English. And I'm going to give it a name, which is going to be a letter value of, of the Mason Carter. And I'm going to give it a, a um, um, mailbox, um, which is going to look like this. As we can see, we can, um, all, all of these are represented as triples and they can be simply added to the graph by the add method. 
and um, yeah they have to be represented in a tuple now let's run this and uh, we are going to do the same for another entity which is going to be uh, another node which is going to be called uh, Sheila now the only difference between the first one is that instead of defining a language for this literal we are going to define a data type which is going to be the xsd of string okay so let's run this now similarly as in the previous example we can simply over iterate over the list of these triples yeah we can um, uh, print out the uh, subject predicate object or we can just print out uh, one of these three as we would like now let's say that we want to get our access only the nicknames of the of the entities which are of type person so what we can do is we can first get all the entities which are of type person so first thing first we want to um, iterate over this subject so we can do it by defining the g.subjects method and then we are going to specify a filter and this is going to filter all the entities which are not of the rdf type and uh, the object is foif of person now when we have that we can then iterate over the um, a list of objects and define another filter which where the uh, subject is going to be a person from the first loop and then the predicate is going to be the FYF of nickname and then this should in theory print out all the uh, nicknames of those two entities now if we look back into our example we can see that um, yeah, the entity Sheila has a nickname of Sheila and then the entity of Mason has a nickname of Mason. And yeah, those are the only two that have been printed out. Yeah, and then this last example, I'm just going to bind a FYF namespace to a prefix. So this is our namespace, which I have imported here. And uh, I'm going to bind it to a prefix of FYF just for the just so the output is more readable and uh, again i'm going to do to uh, serial serialize it with uh, defining the m3 uh, format and now if i run this and this is going to nicely print out the serialized version of the graph as we can see it's nicely formatted with indentations and spaces everywhere and uh, we, it uses the prefixes and uh, what we can do now is either pass it to a variable and then basically save it to a file. Yes, yeah, so this is the introduction to the RDF lib library and in the next video I'll be talking more in depth about, the, about this library, talking about like the loading and parsing and uh, further deep, deep dive into the um, graph manipulation and etc. Yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.